This video shows you how to assemble the 2MAX Stura Way Plus Double Extra Large. The length and breadth measures 178 by 109 cm and its depth is 140. And you know the first step of the process would be to take out all the accessories, okay? And you know build up you know the storage in segments or in little chunks, okay? Just make sure that you're wearing your gloves and you're not setting up the storage when it's very cold or very windy as the force of the wind could break up you know the plastic components or its sub assemblies um, during the installation process but once you're done um, setting up the storage rigidly it shouldn't be much of a problem but also make sure that you know it's been set up in the location where it's not sat directly against the wind so first we're going to start by building the base as highlighted in figures one so first I will retrieve or fetch the components to build the assembly in figures one, line them up or set them up into position, and then subsequently assemble the sub assemblies and their mating parts together, as shown in the video. So I will push all the interlockings at the base of the storage into each other until I hear an audible click, you know, for each strata or layer below. And that's pretty much the base done. The next step of the process would be to install um, the side walls of the storage, both on the left hand side and on the right hand side, as exemplified in figures two. Make sure that when you insert the clip pins, make sure you push them down flush, you know, at the base. The next step would be to insert, you know, brackets underneath the base to provide support to the side walls and screw them in as shown in figures 3, 4 and 5. Make sure the brackets fit into the corresponding hole slots so you can screw the screws in in their respective holes. Then install four of screws to each bracket, you know, underneath the bracket and to the side um, of the protruding bracket piece, which extends onto the inside. The next step will be to build the door frame. So we will be adding the top connecting piece onto the door. The weather got quite windy, so I took it inside to build the two door frames. So here I will be setting the top connecting piece into each respective slot and press fit or push fit the connecting piece down into you know the respective slots and just give it a light bang at the top if it's not flush, okay? Check to make sure it's flush and once done, install the three side bars with four clips on each of them into the side of the frame. And once we're done with one of the side doors, we will be replicating the process on the other side door, but also um, installing the locking mechanism. So we are pretty much done with steps six. The next step of the process would be to install the locking mechanism on the top connecting piece of the door frame in steps 7 and 8. Then install the lever that latches on to the padlock connecting key slot. Then screw four screws into the cover from the back that secures the lever. And if the screws don't go all the way down, you can top tighten or hand tighten with your screwdriver. Once flush, the next step of the process would be to install the locking mechanism back piece. So the back piece would be installed into the corresponding hole slot at the back. And again, you know, on visual inspection, just make sure that the screws are flush, okay? The next step of the process would be to install the top connecting piece with its locking mechanism onto the other door frame. Until an audible sound is heard, just as previously done in the other door frame. The next step of the process would be to install the door connecting rod with the four piece broken out clips that keeps the connecting rod into position in situ. Once the lever is moved, when the door is closed, this connecting rod plunges into the base and secures the door and prevents it from opening. Slide the four clips, you know, through the rod and press fit down or push fit down into the respective slots.
until an audible click sound is heard. So it's still windy on the outside, so I have skipped installing the adult frames onto the base of the storage. Instead, I will be building the roof or cover of the storage, you know, from figure 17 to figures 21. Saves the storage from windy bricking plastic whilst installing and miss out from the cold weather. So we've got two rafts, two connecting sliding rods and four black plastics. The four black plastics would be used in mating the two rafts and the two metal connecting sliding rods would be installed on the far left of both rafts before each connecting sliding rod catches on to the first black plastic. The three other black plastics will not require the connecting sliding metal rods. So I'm just going to slide and push them in, into each other and then subsequently give them a good bang at the top if they aren't flush. I would also install four raft covers each on both rafts for the roof. The next step would be to install a steel plate in the midsection of both rafts or the roof of the storage. And also installing a cover plastic with four screws on the far left of the roof. You know, basically screwing the cover plastic through the steel and onto the roof. And then subsequently screw about eight screws through the steel onto the roof's midsection. The next step would be to install two hydraulic openers on either side of the rafts with six screws each. So here I'm pretty much undoing the clips from the hydraulic openers, locating both hydraulic steel angled bits on their corresponding holes. And once latched onto that corresponding hold, screw six screws each through the hydraulic bit, okay? If the hydraulic bar is an impediment or clashes with your drill, utilize a star head screwdriver to get them screws down, okay? And once done, we're pretty much done with the standalone roof assembly. We had previously installed the side pieces to the base of the storage. So now we can proceed to install the door frames, the roof and the back cover. And so here we've got our side pieces already installed to the base of the storage. You know, then subsequently we will be installing, you know, our door frames and, you know, that would have to latch onto that small pivot bullet at the bottom or at the base of the storage. And now that the left door frame has keyed into the pivot, bring the top connecting piece for the left side panel or you know side storage onto the side of the storage so that as you bring the top connecting piece for the side storage onto the side of the storage it keys in to the slot or the pivot slot at the top of the left door frame Give it a light bang at the top so that all mating pads at the top key in. And you know, subsequently replicate or repeat and reproduce the process as previously done, you know, for the left door frame, you know, for the right door frame, okay? Ensure that the right door keys into the bottom pivot and the top pivot, you know, and um, give it a light bang at the top so that all mating pads connect with each other. And as you can see, the build of the storage is beginning to take shape. We're pretty much done with the doors and, you know, the side panels. So now we're going to install the back cover through two sliding ridges, you know, on both sides of the back of the storage. You can see the connecting rod on the right door, you know, keying into the position at the bottom. The next step would be to install two slotted sliding steel plates, you know, on both sides of the back cover and then subsequently install two brackets you know on both sides of the um, side of the storage and you know the um, back cover and as you can see here the bracket you know latches onto the side panel and you know the back cover 
and so we screw about six screws through the bracket so that it secures both the back cover and the side of the storage on either side. And so the next step would be to install the roof and drive in six screws through the roof's hydraulics which latches onto the side of the storage and then subsequently drive four screws, two screws through the midsection of the roof and the back cover and two other screws at the back section and um, between the midsection of the roof and the back of the cover. And so here you can see that we've secured all six screws through both of them hydraulics, two screws on the inside of the midsection of the back cover and two screws on the outside of the midsection of the back cover. And this is what I mean here. So I'll be driving two screws on the other side of the back cover. And when driving your six screws through the hydraulics, don't forget to drive in that screw there and on the other side too as well. Okay. And you know, you know, take cognizance of the wind, don't install your storage when it's quite windy, because if it breaks, um, accessibility to aftermarket and parts may be somewhat difficult. And that's about it really. If you found the information in the video useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, helps the channel grow, and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.